Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today we're back in the shop. And uh, I have to confess that being in the shop was not the plan for today's video. Uh, the plan was to be out on the range shooting. But like a lot of plans, this one did not survive its first contact with reality. So here's what happened. Pardon me. So I got this really neat Remington belt model revolver, single action one. I already have a double action one that doesn't work. Uh, got this single action one, took it apart, you know, detail stripped it completely. Everything looked great. It's got wonderful lockup, good rifling, just fine. Now, the nipples were rust frozen in place and I've not been able to get them out. So typically I would send this to David Stavlo at Lodgewood Manufacturing and have him replace the nipples with some new old stock that he has uh, and fix any other little things that uh, that need to. I think the, the catch for the loading lever does not look original and it's not very robust. Uh, so I probably want him to work on that. And anything else that he finds when he goes through it. It looked excellent to me. So ordinarily I would just send it off to David, but it was in such good shape, and the nipples were nice and clear, and I thought they were shootable. And as you can imagine, I wanted to shoot this before sending it off for a month or two to the gunsmith. I just wanted to see how it did. So, like I say, I cleaned everything up, oiled it, and took it to the range. And at the range, I discovered I really should have sent it off to have the nipples done. So I had a lot of trouble with the nipples. But I was able to shoot out five out of six loads. But that sixth nipple was just so worn that the hammer's not making contact with the cap. I can't get it to go off. So I got a loaded chamber, and that's not a good thing, right? So I'm back here at the, uh, at the shop to clear that out. And I thought you might want to know how that's done. Because if you shoot cap and ball revolvers a lot, you're probably going to need to do it. And there's you know, a whole variety of reasons for that. Uh, you might buy an antique gun that is loaded. And believe me, it happens more often than you might think. Uh, particularly if you're buying a long gun, like a flintlock rifle or you know shotgun. Get a ramrod down it and check the length the ramrod goes down against the length of the barrel. Because almost always those things have a load in them that have to be pulled. It's not as common with revolvers, but like I said, it happens more often than you might think. And you don't know if that was loaded 10 years ago, 100 years ago. You don't know if somebody loaded it with bullseye instead of black powder. So you're shooting it out, if you should happen to buy one that's loaded, shooting it out is not a wise option. Uh, but there's other reasons you might. There's the option, the thing that I've got, where I just had to get one that wouldn't go off out of there. Uh, or, you know, there have been times when I have loaded them here in the shop to test out, like, paper cartridges to see if I've got the right powder charge, if it'll seat below the, uh, the mouth of the chamber so everything works right, all that stuff. So sometimes I have to experiment with loads back and forth with that until I've got the, the proper load. And then I've got a gun with all these loads in it, right? And uh, I could take it to the range and shoot it out, but sometimes that's not convenient. So i got to clear those chambers. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And there's two ways. One's the easy way, uh, and it is very easy. And the other one is a little bit more difficult, um, but not, not tremendously difficult, unless, unless you have a really tight... A ball combination or, or a really rough chamber. Those That's the worst. But otherwise, it usually goes pretty smoothly, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's what this video is going to be about. All right, let me show you the easy way to pull a load first, because nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to do it just like this. Remove the cylinder. Take out the nipple where the load is stuck. All right, so remove the nipple where the load is stuck. 
All right, then take a steel punch. You'll need a hammer, but just go right in through the touch hole and just drive it out, right? You take a hammer, pound it out. This will go right through a full charge of powder, get behind the ball, and just push it right out. It'll come out very easily. This, this is the simplest way to do it. If you can't get the nipple out, you got to go to plan B. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so here we are. We've got a bad situation, right? And we've got a round right there in the gun. We can't get the nipple out, and we've got to pull that live round out. So here's how we're going to do it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a 330 seconds center hole in that bullet. <laughs> and, and look at that, it pulled it right out. That was a piece of luck. So I'll show you what I was going to do. I didn't expect it to come out that easily. Okay, honestly, you won't always get that lucky. So I'm just going to show you what I was going to do. I've got this screw mounted on the end of a, uh, a short T-handle. And I was going to drill that into the lead ball, into that pilot hole. And when you get that drilled in far enough, you can just jank, yank that ball out of the chamber. As it turned out, we didn't have to do it that way this time, but uh, that's the way you do it. Now, I've still got the wad and the powder, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to attempt to pull that wad. And there we go. Same way. All right, now that I've done that, I should be able to get the powder right out. Yep, there we go. Now I can clean the gun and send it off to have the nipples removed. Okay, so you can see, not rocket science, um, but if you don't know, you don't know. So hopefully this is helpful for some of you. Uh, and uh, you know, hopefully next week I'll be back on with some actual shooting. Who knows? Uh, till then... Bye.